Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm Dave Schaefer, and I'd like to address the problem of uh, uh, tr uh, tractor hydraulics freezing up in the wintertime, becoming unusable. And one solution, of course, is to have a 92 degree day like we have right now. But um, six months from now, with this tractor, if it's about uh, 10, less than 10 above zero, I'll get the tractor started. And I can raise and lower the bucket, but it won't curl. And uh, this was very frustrating. As I said to somebody, uh, if the tractor gets wet, you can't use the loader in the wintertime. And, uh, Apparently the problem is in the control cables. One of these controls um, has a wire that uh, goes from your um, hydraulic uh, control to the, the valves in here. One for the raising and lowering, uh, other for a tilt. And apparently what happens uh, when you have this uh, freeze up, water gets in one of these cables I believe it would migrate to the low spot here, so the uh, the freeze up of the loader cable is due to some ice crystals, which would logically be in this area right here. So I start the tractor in uh, cold weather. If I have this uh, loader issue, I can't uh, cause it to curl. Come down off the tractor, get in this area. And I know it's just one of these two cables, but I'll grab one, uh, both of them. And I'll just flex it like this. And the idea is that this flexing should dislodge and uh, disrupt the ice crystals that are in there. So I would do that. I hop on the tractor, away I go. Um, it's a quick fix, it gets you going. Otherwise, you'd have to take this out and use compressed air and WD-40 or something and try to purge that water out, was, which is a, a big deal and you might have the same problem again. So if you can find a low spot like this, do that twisting, you'll probably have a very quick fix if you have the same problem that we had here. Uh, thanks for your interest.